welcome to Tippecanoe Valley for tonight's broadcast for RTC TV 4. We're here at uh, what's the voting has begun to name the new the field here at Tippecanoe Valley. Um, the Vikings are coming off of a 41 to 13 loss over Bremen last week and facing a tough uh, Culver military team tonight. Culver won their game last week. They're 1 and 0 coming in. We're 0 and 1. Hopefully we hang in there. We'll be fine. Absolutely. We're ready some, for it. Some of the starters for tonight on offense, we've got a quarterback, Tanner Trapedi. At halfback, we've got Alex Morrison. Uh, fullback is Jace Potter. We've got flanker is Wes Melanson. Wide receiver, Isaac Randall. Tight end, Bryce Webster. Center, Brant Norris. Guard, Isaac Lowe. The other guard is Josh Hazard. At a tackle, we've got Hunter Hyden. And at the other tackle, Jose Rivera. That's uh, the offensive starters there for the Vikings tonight. I believe that's the same line we had last week on the offensive line there. And Petriti, I don't know what, what kind of stats did Tanner have last week. So Tanner, through the air, he had nine completions on 17 attempts for 88 yards. He did have a touchdown pass in there and had one interception also. It's 52% completion percentage last week. Not a bad start for a sophomore. No, he was first game jitters. And Absolutely. Morrison led on the ground with 13 attempts for 56 yards. Had a long of 14 yards was his long rush of the night. Captains are coming out to midfield for the coin toss now. Next week we travel to North Miami, be our first conference game. It's always a tough place to play, tough always. environment down <laughs> yeah. there. Always tough. Playing the Warriors. Looks like Valley will be kicking off. Vikings will be kicking off. So we won the toss and deferred, so Culver Military decides to receive as they should. Vikings will be kicking off, headed to the north. CMA will be receiving and headed to the south. Of the scoreboard in front of them here in the first half. Beautiful night here at Valley. Weather's perfect tonight for a football game. Yeah, 68 degrees. 68 degrees, all right. I know. <laughs> I'm glad you said that too because I read it. I don't know how many times it hit me. So it's just, uh, thank you guys. Yep. And the kickoff. It's up. And it's going to go out of, out of bounds. bounds. Start the game with a penalty here on the kickoff going out of bounds. So Culver Military is going to start at the 35, 35 yard line. Viking defense is going to get another tough test tonight it's on the in the running game. We're going to have to make some big plays on some good running backs here that CMA has. They gave up a lot of yards last week on the ground, 250 to Mullins there from Bremen. Three. Louder milk on the Louder carry. Up. About a gain of four. Five and, and, uh, Gonna bring up second and six. Alex Morrison along with Noah Miller making the stop. 
Okay, I'm here. Can you hear us? Yep. All right, game's already started. CMA comes back to the line. Get it down the line, please. Good job. Deontay Craig goes in motion, shifts, and then... Hold on, hold on, motion yep, fumble. Yep, they got it back. Out of the loss of a yard there for CMA. It's going to bring up third down, though. Uh, third and long. Be ready for uh, secondary. Be ready here for a pass play. Well, it's got to work. <laughs> and we decided to make the call. If it didn't work, then we need to make an adjustment. So we made the adjustment. Culver took the uh, kickoff, brought it out to the 30-yard line. Again, Tipping New Valley and Culver Academy football tonight here on WRSW. First down, Culver gains three yards. Second down, the fumble. It's Culver in the shotgun. It's going to be a pass play. Ooh, hits number 44. Finds his man, Deontay Craig, for enough for a first down there. Looks like a... Gain of about 10 on the play. Looks like Craig kind of went across field there to get that one. Nice pick up. Yep, went up down there underneath the linebackers. Mm -hmm. and yep. <coughs> We're live on them yeps, you know. <laughs> Maybe somebody will be counting them for us yeah. out there. <laughs> A little sweep play there, and he cuts it up the middle. Loudermill on the carry. Pretty good stop there by the Viking defensive line. Looks like Webster in on that tackle. Going to be a gain of about two, but we do have a flag on the ground, so see what the penalty is. Ooh, personal foul. On CMA. Back him up. 15. Going to take them back to where the drive began. There you go. So we've got a first and 25 coming up. Watch out for uh, Loudermilk again in that underneath route, trying to get a big chunk of this back. Let's see uh, what we can do here. This is another pass, but he's going deep. Oh, he's got a man. Number three got it. And touchdown. That was an excellent catch yeah, there. He, excellent a nice throw catch, pass. Yeah. Oh, my word. Michael Bacher there on the, the pass. Just dropped that right in there. He had a step. He had a step on our secondary. That was Cameron Parker on the coverage there. Just, just got a step a, just behind a step. him. Just, just one step. That's what it was, too. Wasn't able to make up the ground, and then. So CMA starts off here with 9.57 to go in the first quarter with a 6-0 lead right away with an extra point to come. Looks like uh, the play clock's going to run out, so that's going to be a uh, delay a game. Timeout. Or did they call it? They, they got the timeout, timeout called, didn't yep. they? Yep. Okay. Looks like uh, number 30 for CMA, Tommy Polhamis. Polhamis. He's from Breeningsville, Pennsylvania, where their kicker's from. <laughs> Try to pronounce that one. Yeah. Imagine he's a big Steeler fan. Let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> and the kick is good. good. So CMA will take a 7-0 lead early in the first quarter here.
So CMA is set to kick off for the first time tonight. We got Jaden Conley back deep for the Vikings. He's joined back there by Jalen Potter. I'm not sure who's on the far side there. 45, that's Dakota Gaff over there. He kicked it into the end zone. We'll start out at the 35 or 20. 20, 20 excuse me, 20. 20 for the touchback. 35 sounded better. <laughs> they only would have kicked it out of bounds, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so now we get a, get a, look, get a look at the offense here for the first time. Tanner Trapedi in his second start. Leading the way at quarterback. Tanner's under center. Looks like they've got some size there on the defensive line. Mm. Little pitch out there. Oh. To Maybe a to half Morrison. a yard. Yeah, pitch out to Morrison there, and he, he's going to lose about four on the play. Oh, he did, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There was a uh, – not sure that – looked like that guy was even blocked at that point. He just shot right through. He was quick off the line. It's going to be something we have to adjust to here. So back to the line in the I formation. He's going to roll out for the pass. He's being chased. He gets it off. Nice caught. Oh, catch by first, Melanson. All right. First down. There we go. Nice that, little nice. pass and catch yep. there on the as Trapedi was rolling out to his right. And really, he did, had to get rid of it then. <laughs> Real he quick, was getting, like, yeah. He was, he was getting chased down. Number 44. Yep, Deontay Craig again. Yeah. I have a feeling we're going to say his name a few I times. I think tonight. we are. Well, Valley getting his first first down now of the game. Nope, he, he the official said he stepped out of bounds just short. So we got third and oh, two. I didn't see that. We got Webster in there. Tight end gonna be up the gut. Is that looks like Jace Potter on the carry, I believe? That looked like a loss of two. Jace on Potter there. on the carry and a gain of about one. Gain one. Gain one. I've seen the other pile, didn't I? <laughs> I'm not seeing the ball tonight. <laughs> the fourth and one, it looks like the, maybe the punt team's coming on. I think you have to punt this time. Morrison's punter, and last week, uh, Trapedi was the punter. So a nice long punt there as Dakota Gaff closes in, not able to make the tackle, but he gets up and comes back after him. Oh, he oh, squeezes he's going. through. That is going to be Loudermilk. And that's now his second touchdown. Second touchdown of the night. And he is from Redondo Beach, California. So it's a... Uh, Tough start here for the Vikings tonight. There's still 8.07 left to go in the first quarter. We're down 13 to nothing with a PAT to come. And the kick is up and through the uprights and good. Makes it 14-0 CMA over the Vikings with 8.07 to go in the first quarter. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home. And there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans, from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank.
Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics. CMA with the kickoff. It's going to be, oh, bobbled back there uh, by Conley. He's able to pick it up, and he's met right there by number 17, Jake Rogers, on that return. So he kind of fell through his arms, hit the ground. Yeah. He was able to pick it up and gain, to back up. gain a couple yards out of it. We're going to start this drive at the 24-yard line. Well, if you need a drive in a game, it's this drive right here. Right here. It, you hate to think that this early in the game, but could hold true. Mm -hmm. Second drive of the game for Valley. Trapedi's under center. We got Webster at the tight left. It's a Potter up the middle. <clears throat> it's going to be a nice gain of about yeah. four on the play. You just take some chunks of yardage like that at a time here and just march it down the field like that. March it down the field, just like we did in our opening drive last week against yes, Bremen. Yes, sir. No reason we can't do the same thing. <laughs> Got Isaac Randall split wide to the far side there. Morrison's deep in the backfield. It's going to be a little dump pass oh. across the middle to Webster. Webster first and Webster's down. a big target across the middle there. That's a, that's a nice that's little play there. Picks up a first down. The first first down of the night. Another nice pass by Trapedi. That Tanner, he was, he was rushed again there and under pressure again. Yeah, and I think he might have had to throw that one up with a little faith that yep. Webster was going to be where he's supposed to. Not able to see over the line maybe real well there as they were kind of coming in on him. Trapedi under center with Potter leading the way. Oh, Conley. Conley drives his legs for a gain of about one on that play. It was a nice hard run. It only gained a yard, but he had that forward lean and was driving his knees. The other uh, defensive tackle there for Culver. I can't can't make out his number from here, but he's a big boy. Just a lot to move around up there. They do have some size, don't they? Absolutely. Webster shifts to the right hand side there for the it's a tight end. Little pitch out to Conley, and he is met by a host of eagles in the background. Backfield. About a loss of seven there. I think so. Well. well, we got third down. We got Jalen Shepard checked in on this play. Like to think maybe they're going to go deep. He had a nice touchdown catch yes, last week in the first half. See how this works out for the Vikings on a third and 12. Ball's on the 37 yard line. It is going to be a pass. He's just. Oh. Absolutely no time to do anything on that play there. I thought he maybe stumbled just a little bit coming out from under center, but I don't think that made one bit of no, difference it on that play. No, not on that. They brought no. the house that time, it looked like. And yep. Not sure. Uh, we might have to slow those guys up just a little bit here. <laughs> maybe we can at least change the field position at this point, see if we can get a good... Good kickoff. 
Trapedi's back in at punt to punt this one. He goes out of bounds about midfield. Let's see where they mark it. And he's gonna still walking. This looks like about the 47 yard line. That's near midfield. Yeah. I'll, call it, I'll call it near midfield. Let's do that. That's right. All this month, you can save big during Shepherd Chevrolet's Summer Drive event, where prices have been slashed to 20% below MSRP on 2017 Cruise, Impala, and Malibu LT Edition. How about a lower rate instead? Take 0% APR for 72 months. The choice is yours during this inventory clearance event going on right now at Shepherd. First and ten, the handoff up the middle. Looks like uh, that Bellman on the carry for the about Eagles. A, about a gain of three. Gain of three on the play. See as Kyle Brown sends in the signal from the sideline to the defensive huddle. See what they got dialed up this this play on second and seven. Well, motion. There's that little sweep to the far side again. He breaks a couple tackles, gets down the sideline, and a tackle or tackle made by Morrison there over along the far sideline, but not after a gain of 20 on the play. Pretty close to that. We'll call it 20 and. They're moving the chains again. Another first down. Closing in on the red zone for the third time here in the first quarter. Uh, ball spotted at the 24. A little fake, he's gonna pass. Oh, nice effort by Melanson, but just not able to reel him in. Well, he's just bouncing off with some Valley players bouncing there. Bouncing off people, and the Bacher kept it there. And Hey, look at that, oh. there was a fumble on the play. Vikings got it back, what a break. He must have stripped him as he was going down there. I think he did, he must have made a st strip, and he was trying to put a little extra effort in and get some extra yardage there. And one of the Viking defenders was able to knock the ball loose. So now it's going to be first and 10 for the Vikings. Still talking They're about talking. it. Let's see what we're going to do. Deciding on where to spot the ball. Head official keeps pointing. Keep point for Valley's ball. Yep. He? Yep. So it's going to be on the 16 yard line. It's first a, and 10 for Valley. Yeah, it's official by the officials, so it's official. <laughs> there. <laughs> I think I followed you. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's going to be a pass. It looks like maybe a screen pass they were trying to set up there. And Trapedes has to scramble. Ooh. Oh, nice little nice scramble hit. there. Yeah. Maybe a couple guys miss. Tanner's able to get it down. Gain of about eight. Getting out near the 25 yard line now. Brings up a second short. Those are the kind of situations we need to be in right now. It's Definitely. <clears throat> Almost looked like maybe a screen pass they were trying to run there, Doug, when he... I hope the defensive line didn't get through that quick on a non-screen pass. Well, they've been in pretty quick today in this game, so... We've got uh, Isaac Randall split out to the near side, and Melanson goes in motion. Here a little out route, oh, 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 oh. and there is nowhere for Tanner to go on that one. He started to roll out this way to his left, and nothing going. And when he turned around to try to go back the other way, it was all over. He had about three or four guys right there. Yeah, Mari Curtis in on that tackle from Chicago. I bet he's a Bears fan. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, this is going to be another. So here's a screen pass. There you go. Nice He's got some room. Had a little setup there. Absolutely. Jace Potter on that reception. Looks like we might be short, but Potter last week had, had did a little work. He yes, had seven he did. seven rushing care or rushing attempts for 35 yards. He had no receiving yards last week, no catches. So that that was his first catch of the season on that nice little screen pass. But it's still going to bring up a fourth and four. So the punt team's on the field. Tanner set back to punt. And the flag comes out. Blow the play dead. Ooh, All offside. sides. Ooh, this is going to be a first down for the Vikings. Should be. It's going to work out well. We'll take all the help we can get right now. All right. Uh, first and ten from the twenty eight now. Tanner on the keep. He just kind of slips through the line for a gain of about half a yard. Comes to the sideline to get the play. We're going to have to uh, change the count. See, see what we can do here. Yeah, a hard count or a, try to draw those guys off sides a little bit. Clock's running with 115 to go in the first quarter as the Vikings trail 14 to nothing. We're down to five seconds on the play clock. They're going to have to hustle up here. Yeah, and there's your timeout. Coach Moriarty calls a timeout. Yep. Sunday afternoon. Don't miss a touchdown with Red Zone from NFL Network and RTC Fiber Communications. Call today to get yourself set up for all the action. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. All right, we're back from the, that timeout. 103 left in the first quarter. Valley with the second down nine. Second down and nine. Gotta take a quick second, give a shout out to Dak Snyder and Craig Kuhn there. Oh yeah. Blowing up my phone here, wanting to yeah. get a little. Hey, looks like we might have an time. Off offsides again. Another. There we go. That's what we need right there. We're moving in the right direction. So it'd still be second down five, let's say. Second and five. We've got a uh, over wide to the other side there, far side. Hard to see numbers a little bit. Up the middle, oh, up there the you middle. go. Nice carry. Uh, I Cameron Parker, Parker on that carry. Yep. Parker pretty, last week had good gain. He's yeah, just short. <clears throat> Parker last week had three carries for six yards, an average of two yards. So he was uh, well over his average from last week on that one carry. First oh, down. Oh, they're gonna give him first down. Good. First down, 10 to 
Uh, Parker again. Parker carries it again up the middle. A couple yards. We'll see if this can work. Uh, maybe sucking in some of the linebackers. Maybe another Webster tight end pop pass there you over the go. middle or something. We might see coming up. I like your call play there. But that's probably why I'm up here and not down there. <laughs> There's All right, that's the end quarter. of the first quarter where the Vikings trail the Eagles 14-0 here on this beautiful Friday night. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Okay, start of the second quarter here. And that's not the way we want to start the no. second quarter at all. With a sack, bring up a third and long. Tanner tried to drop back and there was just no time, no time. No time at all. To even find anything. By the time he turns around looking downfield, there's guys right in his face at that point. No matter which way he wants to turn, he's right. CMA guy right there. I would venture a guess we probably won't see a defensive line like this in the TRC. <laughs> it's just a wild just guess. Just a wild guess. We got Isaac Randall wide to the near side. We have to drop back oh, for a screen. He's got, got Parker. Parker, Parker got some miss. room. You pick up a block. Ooh. There we go. That's a nice play. Harry Johnston out there trying to pick up a block. Out ahead, out in the lead for Parker. Get it back to a fourth and about six. It looks like the offense is staying right out staying there. Staying out there, aren't they? At this point, we might as well I see agree. what we can do. Yep, I agree with that. Got to get a little momentum going our way. All right. This might be one of them draw them offsides. That could be too. We got a couple linebackers looking like they're wanting to blitz right up the middle. Oh, well, we got rolled he scrambles. out. Scrambles. He's looking to run from the beginning. Ooh. Looks like that number 44 Craig was pursuing the whole time. Yeah, absolutely. He got lost about 15 on that play. Kind of looked like as soon as he got that snap and started rolling out, he had the ball tucked and he was just looking to run it from the beginning. Just never could get around to that corner. So that's going to give CMA a really good field position now to start this drive. They're inside their 30 at the 28-yard line. Makes a guy miss. Well, off tackle to the left side. Looks like about a gain of four. 
You know, they're going to have to dial something up here to see what we can do to slow down that defensive line. You know, we've tried a couple screen passes. That can help sometimes, but we'll see. But first, the defense needs to get a big stop. <laughs> yeah, they did last time. They got the fumble. Right, forced to turn over on, mm -hmm. the, on CMA's last drive. Snap, gives it up the middle. Looks like Alec Stathicus on the carry. From Northville, Michigan, a suburb of the Detroit there area. There. Is that by Craig Coon up that way? or That's ah, on the opposite Outside. side of the state than where Craig lives. Craig's over in the St. Joe area. St. Joe, Michigan, yeah, he's huh? He's on the west side. Yeah. He comes down to visit his folks every once in a while, and when he comes over, uh, Lori fixes him some peanut butter pie. One of his favorites there. Yep. So now we got a third and four, third and five, is what the scoreboard says. And the shotgun this time. Oh, oh, looks like we got a false start there. There we go. Back him up on that one. The official winds the play clock. <clears throat> a shotgun again. He's got Stathicus off to the right. Oh, he's coming. Nice. All right. There Sack we go. There. Nice one. Jose. Excellent job by Isaac Randall and Jose Rivera that time. He was looking off to the right, and when he looked back, Randall and Rivera were right there to pretty much bury him in the backfield. Maybe a play like that's what we need just to get a little confidence, a little momentum going. Just a little bit of a, kind of a short, short punt, or there. No, he's going for it here. They're looking. All right, he's going to roll out to the right. Oh. Lanson puts a little pressure on there. A oh, punt. there yeah. it is. There you go. He's going to roll out and see. Oh, look at oh. the <laughs> bounce. That oh, just my took. word. Going to pin the Vikings oh. down inside the five to the two-yard line. Yeah, that roll out. If somebody was going to be wide open, he would have thrown it, I think. But yeah. then no, nothing there, so he just punts it deep, and that worked out well for the Eagles to pin the Vikings deep in their own territory. Well, now, being pinned deep here, we're going to have to be careful not to get a safety the way that defensive line has been teeing off. Maybe a hard count, a long count, trying to maybe get a free five yards on a penalty to get a little breathing room. They're going to hand it up the, off up the middle, possibly. Oh, he's just a lob going deep. What a oh. pass interference on that, maybe. Oh, the sideline sure wanted that. Didn't look like he was looking back at the ball. It didn't look hey, like the defender just... was looking back. And that's a that's a ball Shepard can go up and get. Showed that last. He week. showed that that touchdown pass last week and. Get a catch like that in the scrimmage too, didn't he or not? I wasn't here, but you were. Can't remember that. Maybe he did, but. I think, he, I think he did catch I, I a know, couple. Uh, I think he had a couple nice catches in the Alex scrimmage. Alex did. Morrison there, he did. He had some nice catches for touchdowns. Randall's. Down to 10 on the play clock as they break the huddle. Lanson's got to give Randall the play as they come out wide to the right side. Quick handoff up the middle. Ooh, Parker. Parker, nice, nice hard run man, there by he's... Parker. Parker's been and running hard tonight. First down. Keeps running like that. You might just have to feed the horse. Yep. Keep him going. That's right. I haven't heard much from Morrison tonight. No, we haven't called had, his name a whole no, lot. Alex had a good game last week. He's in uh, 
He's the tailback on this play. And there they jump go. off sides again. Nice job, Allie. Maybe the way to slow down the defensive line is going to be with this hard count. Yep. And get them back on their heels a little bit. They're really running the play clock down. Break the huddle here with 10. We're in good shape. Got Morrison in the backfield again. A little play action across oh, to Webster. Webster. Oh. oh. It hit the ground. Well, that was kind okay. of in the middle, about three defenders yeah. there, and I thought Webster was going to come up with it. And then it the did. defender was able to pop it up in the air, and I wasn't sure it wasn't going to get intercepted. So fortunate for yeah. that. Yeah, CMA had like three or four guys around that. They sure did. Fortunate one of them wasn't able to spot that when it <laughs> popped up in the air and pick that off. But I thought Webster was going to be able to reel that in at first. That would have been an excellent catch. That was a good call for the first down five there. Yeah, I thought so too, because that, that – that's a play we need to come back to, I think. That, utilize that big tight end we have. Going to drop back. He's got a guy coming off the end there. Look like a 54 Connor Henderson just come off the end untouched there. And Trapiti was rolling out this way right into him. Just nothing going. I don't know if somebody missed an assignment or if they're hoping he's going to crash harder so you can get outside of him there. We got third down long now. <laughs> we got third and more than 12 is what the scoreboard says, but it looks like it's about third and fifth 20 or so. Oh. Boy, he had a. He, he, he was he, open to the sideline. That was a tough pass to get it out there to him, though. Yeah, it was really a nice pass. Once again, Tanner under pressure there, and he, he got the ball up. And He's got to throw that off his back foot, and that's just a tough pass going down the sideline there. And good play by the by CMA's defense also. Mm. <laughs> So the punting team set. PD gets it off right at the goal line. It's going to go out of bounds. Coach Brown just distribu or just showed why he was a linebacker and <laughs> nothing else in high school because that went right through his hands as he tried to catch that punt. <laughs> Looks like they're going to set it up at the 25. Again, another short field there for CMA. So here comes Culver for the uh, for another drive. I mean, start another short uh, short field here, starting at the 25-yard line. Not sure he knows. One player come on late, I'm not sure he knows what the play is. He tried to come in and get a block, though. He's rolls out to the right. Runs out of bounds for a gain of maybe five on the play. The difference is, uh, looks like they have a busted play. They gain five yards. Yeah. We have a busted play. We lose ten. Negative. <laughs> Well, CMA scored on their first two drives. And, and we've kept them out of the end zone since. So. They've had short fields, so defense not doing too bad. No, they've, they've tightened up here and, and played pretty well in the second quarter. Going in motion. Oh, nice. So it looked like uh, number 67, Harry Johnson there. Yeah. Met that blocker and was able to kind of push him back into the ball carrier and trip him up a little bit. Only allowed a short gain on the play. He's going to bring up a third and three with 5.18 to go in the first half. 
They're now inside the red zone. Lifts it to the near side. Now Craig, the tight end, also comes to the near side. Bellman besides Bacher in the backfield. Got a shift, and now we got a motion, and we got a little counter play. But it's real close to real a first close. down. Looks like short. Up fourth and short. They're no doubt going to go for it here. See if the defensive line can dig deep and get a big stop. Linebackers come in crashing. This could be a big positive play for the defense here on a big fourth down. I agree. Yep. It's, it's hold them here, D. Doug, if you're in the stands, you'd be getting the defense chant. Yeah, I would right do now, that right now. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, it's a pass. oh, there we there go. Is. We just, yep, good job, guys. There nice got job by Wes Melanson. Got in there. Excellent play. All right. There's another break. Defense, they bend, they bend again, but didn't break. So Absolutely. There we nice go. Nice job by the defense. Now we just need that play or drive here. To we need that drive right here. I think we were in this minutes. exact position last week with yes, about we were. four minutes to yep. go, and we were able to drive down and get a touchdown late in the first half. See if we can repeat that same thing. So instead of the ball being one or two yards ahead, it was two or three yards in the backfield. That opens up your linebackers to come in and make a big play. That's what Melanson did. First down and 10 for Tiffany New Valley. You got Melanson and Randall here to the near side. Morrison in the backfield. Oh, oh bobbled the snap. Uh, Trapiti picked it up and tried to make a little something happen, but ends up losing about three on the play. Aside from the long pass play, Tim, just Second out at 13. Nice. Now we're in the second and long situation. Clock still running down to three minutes and 30 seconds to go in the first this half. This is where you could see Webster. Little nope. counter play. Boom, boom, boom. Just a gain of about one there. Melanson on that catch. Or on that carry. <laughs> Six foot three, two hundred fifteen pounds. Fort Wayne, just a sophomore. How did Fort Wayne Snyder let him get up? I don't know. Booter Snyder Dwinger ends up at Culver. I don't understand. Well, it's pretty good education. Yeah. Yeah. Vikings back to the line. Third and eleven. He's gonna roll out the pass. He's got Melanson. Oh, intercepted. Oh, it's gonna be picked off. So Melanson looked like he got his hand on it, and then it was batted oh, away. Oh, right here we've we got, got a little, little scrum tangle going here. now. There we got Wilders. the flag. And Looked like uh, 77 there. Jose Rivera might have lost his cool a little bit on that play. We'll find out here. So that's something you don't want to see out there. Nope. But back to the play that happened as it got batted up, as Melanson just almost had his hand on it, and then a defender was able to tip it up, and then I didn't see who ended up intercepting number 10, that. Number 10 got number, it. Number 10, Car Carson Bellman on the interception. so that backs him up that gets it uh, first and ten for Colville absolutely first and ten here now so I guess there was end up being no penalty on yeah, the play. Yeah, must have been offset or something there. Off, offsetting, wasn't it? Oh, nice. Nice tackle. There you go. Shepherd. Nice, Shepard. nice job. By... So, all right, let's see if uh, maybe that'll get 
things roll in here. Good job by the defense. Like you said, the defense really has played well. They have. The second quarter. Gave up that long pass there. First drive of the game and then had a short field on their second touchdown, but they've really held tough since then. Going to roll out to the right. He's got a man on an out route. Oh, he overthrows overthrew him. It. Yep. There like, we go. Really pretty good coverage there by Noah Miller. I mean, he had room to catch it if the pass was there, but Miller was Miller in was right there and position to just make the tackle. And good job. He had a uh, had a little height on him. Yes, he did. That makes it third down ten. Two minutes to go in the first half. He's going to roll out to the right, looking to throw again. He's going deep on a little oh, post overthrow. route, but yep. I would say there was a miscommunication yep. there between the quarterback and the receiver. And they connected for a long one in the first quarter there. They did, and Trapiti was on the coverage back there. That was uh, Loudermilk was a intended receiver as Bacher. So he now got fourth down, 10. Oh, here we go, defense. See if they do that little roll out to the right again. See if they look to throw it and then maybe punt. Oh. Uh, not sure. Uh, yep. One of the Viking defenders there on the far side jumped off sides. Gives them five yards. Makes it fourth and five now. I don't know that that'll necessarily change the play call any. Oh, they false start there, there maybe. Yeah. All right. <laughs> there, take well, I wasn't sure All they were right. gonna throw the flag yeah. at first. <laughs> it was like such it's slow right in front motion. Of you too, right? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Just... We'll All right. Well, here Back we go. Five more. <laughs> Well, we're right back to where we began on 4th and 10 on the 33-yard line. Going to roll out Melanson coming again. Yeah. Finds a guy open. Oh, he's short of the short. first down. He looks like he's short. He tried to stretch it, but I think yep. he's short. Absolutely. Nice job out there by... Uh, is that Morrison? Morrison out there on the tackle. Along with oh, Valley Ball. Maybe Randall out there also in on that tackle, I think. No, I think Randall was coming in. A couple guys. A couple guys. Nice job by the defense to hold on another fourth down. Now the offense is going to have a minute 48 here to work with. As they've got it 75 yards to go for the end zone. Again, one score was a punt return. Other than that, one big play is the only thing the Vikings have given up here tonight defensively. It's been a remarkable comeback. Huge difference. Where we saw week. things go the other way. Yep. This time they were down in the first quarter yep. and came back really with a huge determination. Yep. So Webster shifts tight to the right, up the middle to Potter. To Potter. Yep. And Potter on the carry. <laughs> oh. Another handoff up the middle to Potter again. Going to be a second down. Potter again on the run. Timeout by Culver Military with a minute 11 to go here in the first half as the Eagles lead the Vikings 14 to nothing. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans, from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank.
Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board certified. Everyone, can't <laughs> okay. And we're back here for a third down for the Vikings. Third and four, I formation. Offside. And it got him to jump. Oh, there you oh, go. We had a tailback move too, though. Oh, let's see which way. Looks like Conley yep, might have yep, stepped forward us. also. Yep. On us, so. Back of back five. And Coach Moriarty is not too happy on that one. Pointing to his head, saying, We got to think. We got to think. We had a first down there. Still been a pretty clean game, though, really, for, for Valley tonight. Only two penalties. <laughs> Pass is going deep oh, to Shepard. Shepard. He's got him in. Oh, man. Pretty good coverage, but. Good coverage. Looked like Shepard right at the end kind of. Kind of maybe. Had a little push there, maybe. Yeah, maybe, to, maybe got away with a little something, <laughs> but, there, but hey, that's all right. You betcha. Just kind of throwing him maybe over his outside yeah. shoulder a little bit, and Shepard was looking on the inside shoulder yep. and just not able to adjust there, but. Be fourth and long, and going to bring out the punt teams. Uh, see if the uh, defense can hold one more time here going into the half. It's a short punt to the sideline, but nice, oh, nice bounce. bounce. Yep. It's going to roll. Past the 45, down to the 44. Clock runs down below a minute to go in the half where Culver will start. So that wasn't in the air for very long, but it rolled no, a long way a nice, and worked nice out roll. just fine. Like you say on the defense, they just give up really one big play. And one big play and a punt and, return. And a punt and return. Special teams. Special teams, so. Other than that, the defense has looked really tough so far. You know, don't jinx them here by talking about it. No, but it's always been a short field here in the last few drives for CMA. And it has been. The defense has held tough. So they need one more, one more series out of them here. And It's kind of looking to pass. Ooh, Ooh. Nice hit on the quarterback there. Pretty good coverage there, too, by Morrison. Nice job. Didn't see the who come off the end there for for their valley on the defensive line, but had a real nice hit on the quarterback just as he released it. Did you see that? I, I think Isaac, he's been, Randall, been coming off the edge. Was that there. who it was? I, I think it was him again. That, it was a nice, nice was. job. A little confusion maybe yep. here on the defense in the secondary. As Shepard kind of gets things dialed in with Coach Brown, looks like they got things figured out. Got four guys deep here in a 4 3. Oh, we, we got, got a, flag. a flag. Number eight. Yep. Yep, number eight. Jump. A false start. Back him up. That's been our best defense right there. Right. It sure doesn't hurt any. No. Bring it back to a second and 15 now, which 54 seconds to go. So only four seconds has ran off so far on this drive, which they've only ran one play. Just feels a little longer than that. Watch out for that 2-3 combination here. Three is going in motion. It's coming out. There goes oh, Lance. Yeah. Nice there shot, you go. Pass. Nice job. They tried to hit Craig on a little screen Excellent. pass there. Yeah. Nice job. Lanson was able to shoot into his legs before he ever had a chance to get that pass off and just wasn't able to hit his target. 
I say oh. Coach Brown, he's really got this D going. He's got him dialed in tonight so yes. far. It's a good thing that wasn't caught by uh, Craig there for the Eagles because he looked like maybe he had some room, but that's why uh, it was important that Melanson got to him. So nice job there by the line. Third down, 15. All right, secondary, be ready here. Coming after you again. You know, roll out to the right. Melanson oh, right, he threw a block again. Oh, oh he's His down. Knee was he's down. down. His knee he was, was down. down. And he blows it dead. He the whole press box finally. yells. Yeah. The whole press box called that we one. We can see that from up here. Yeah. I sure would think they saw it down there. Yeah. <laughs> and they did, which brings up a fourth down. It's like CMA called, called a timeout. timeout. The defense is fired up They now. are. And they should be. <clears throat> Absolutely. All this month, you can save big during Shepherd Chevrolet's Summer Drive event, where prices have been slashed to 20% below MSRP on 2017 Cruise, Impala, and Malibu LT Edition. How about a lower rate instead? Take 0% APR for 72 months. The choice is yours during this inventory clearance event, going on right now at Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. Online at shepherdrochester.com. Farming is a way of life for many of our Hoosier families. Protect all of your farming assets with coverage from Evans Agency in Rochester. They offer farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your coverage needs. Judy Evans and her staff have been serving the insurance needs of this community for over a decade. Let Judy help you protect the game here. It is a good game. So now we're back with uh, 30 seconds, seconds to go as CMA has a fourth and five right at midfield. And drop back to pass again. Oh, we got, got him again. Him. Oh, he got rid of it. Got oh, rid of it. short. But I think yeah. he's short. Nope, he might have reached. Let's see what see they where call. they spot the ball. This is going to be, I'd say he's going to spot it short. He's short, yep. About got to the quarterback. He was able yes, to get rid did. of it and find a receiver, but did an excellent job there. Um, it's I'm not short. sure, I'm not sure short. who made that tackle. Valley ball. Was it maybe Cameron Parker in there on the tackle? I couldn't really tell couldn't who made tell. the tackle over there, but either way, maybe Shepard. Shepard's pretty pumped up as he comes off the field. Either way, it was a nice play to keep him short of the first down. Give the offense one more shot here with 26 yeah. seconds to go. Shepard's coming out wide to the right. Melanson's in the slot. We got a little run and shoot look here. Gonna drop back to pass. He's going deep no, to Shepard. He's, he's got him. Got oh. Ah. Yep. Looked like he was gonna be open for a second, and then Bellman was able to kind of close in and break that pass up. Nice looking pass. Yeah, it was. A little bit of air under it. Maybe it's just a little tighter, maybe. And he's able to get that before Bellman's able to move in. But that's getting pretty picky. Yeah, it is. But <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Same formation. Morrison in the slot to the far side. Melanson in the slot to the near side with Shepard. And drew back. Under pressure He's able to he slide away from uh -oh. one defender and able to just kind of get rid of it there. Live to see another down with 15 seconds to go in the second quarter. Brings up a third down and 10. <clears throat> Timeout by the Vikings. Coach Moriarty wants to talk things over here. Well, the good thing about it is, starting the third quarter, we get the ball. So we'll start off the ball soon. For sure. Yeah, when it comes to 
All right, the Vikings are going to come out of this timeout. 15 seconds to go. The ball's on the 46 yard line. And 15 seconds to go in the first half. They got time for. Well, these two plays, third and a fourth down if they if, if necessary. But if they can get this first down, they might get a couple more plays after that. So everything going on that's a crazy area tomorrow. Kinds of that's crazy. Quick little pass to Moanson. He's able He's to get it out on the sideline. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Nice job. Oh, with ten seconds to go. Yep. All right. Nice. Nine point eight seconds left. Down across midfield, close to the 40-yard line now. Got 40, 42 yard lines where it's spotted. Trapiti gives the play call in the huddle, brings him to the line. Looks like he's got Randall off to the far side, Morrison. Shepard down here on the near side. He's going to go to Randall this time down the far side. Looks like it was might have been intercepted. Yep, intercepted. Just kind of threw it up there, for hoping somebody could get the jump ball, and the somebody that came up with it was a Culver military player. So with three seconds to go, Culver military will get one play if they choose, maybe take a knee. They might take one shot at it here. Get the secondary deep, nobody behind you. Yep, they take the knee. Take the knee, and that'll go. That's be the half end, time. Be the end of the first half. Here at Tibbet Canoe Valley, where Culver Military leads 14 to nothing. And we're back for the second half here at Tibbet Canoe Valley where the Culver Military Academy Eagles are leading the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings 14 to nothing. <clears throat> We're just gonna be set for kickoff. Valley receiving the ball. Valley will receive the ball to start the second half. We've got Jaden Conley deep, along with Dakota Gaff. And Jalen Potter, I believe. And the kick and is up. Start nice second looking, half. Nice looking kick. Conley, Conley gets it. Got a hit of steam and ooh, took a little hit there, but got the ball. Valley start the ball at about the 28-yard line. Yep, not bad field position. Not to bad start at second all. Half. <clears throat> we had a little bit of a drive going there. At the end of the half, see if we can carry that on. Ended with a interception as we just kind of tried to go deep there, you know. Really a pretty clean half. Not too many flags on the field or anything there in the first half. Couple penalties, but. Yeah, see, it may seem like they had some offsides there, but. Look like number 54 came in there at the guard. Oh, number 50 Ooh, came in at the Potter guard with there. The ball. Josh Hazards, who I seen come in late. Potter on the carry for a gain of about a yard. <clears throat> Petey gets the call from the sideline, takes it back to the huddle. Second Calls. down eight. He's got Melanson. Out wide to the near side. Uh, oh, nice pass. Nice. It's Ooh. Lance on the Takes slant. It, yeah. Took Pops a right, shot. Pops right back up, though. But nice. Nice catch. And <laughs> way to stay strong <laughs> with Melanson. First down, then, too. Wow. <laughs> Took a shot he there. Did. Pretty fired up after that signal yeah. for the first down when yeah. he gets back to the huddle. Whew. <clears throat> Be a first down. That'll help slow the linebackers down enough to honor that cross the middle type of pass. Uh, up the middle. Ooh, Parker. 
Gain of maybe a yard on the play. Curtis. <clears throat> yeah, that's a great effort there, but what the coaches are going to look at on film and really teach the other players they there is they guys stop. Are walking to the whistle and gauging with someone driving your feet. He's going to gain two or three more yards because you're going to be a nuisance to that defender. So it will be Melanson to the near side. Now. Yeah, Webster's tight end on the near side. Melanson out wide to the near side. Morrison in the backfield. Quick pass Webster. out to Webster. There you go. Uh, should be about third down three. Nice little out route there by Webster. <clears throat> it's going to bring up a third down and three. I said it. I don't know if it's right or not, but I said it. Get off my butt. A shepherd out here wide. Run and shoot. Look here. We got Parker in the backfield as fullback. Uh, looks like everybody knew the step. Maybe the center didn't quite snap it yep. on time because it looked like everybody moved except for. It looked like the ball. it didn't. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be a procedure penalty on the Vikings. Back them up five. Bring up third and eight. Three penalties on the Vikings for just 15 yards on the night. Pretty clean game from Valley. Parker in the full backfield. Ooh, oh. knocked down. Ooh. That was a little quick slant to Melanson yeah. again. Number 44, Craig, was able to get those long arms up there and bat that down. Going to bring up a fourth down, and the punt team's going to come out for the Vikings. Oh, I think it maybe kind of a late uh, switch for CMA there. Punts up to the sideline. Uh, Lands over here on the track on the home well, he side. Keeps of coming the up. Feel at the 46 now. Spotted at the 46, isn't he? Yep. So at least they're not starting on uh, the Vikings side of the field, but they're not far off. Just about to the apex of the field here, aren't they? The 50 yard line. Well, they had that big punt return the first half there. Now they're kind of just <coughs> kicking it away. And yeah, which probably is a pretty smart idea. Yep. Keeping it, right. number 10. 10, the new quarterback for Culver Military. Carson Bellman. Bellman. Uh, about a gain of two. So they switch things up at quarterback. Uh, Culver Military does. Long sweep. Up the middle. Up the middle again, close to the first down. Down to the 46 yard line across midfield. <clears throat> Gonna bring up a third down and about two, maybe three on the play, or third down. So another uh, big third down here for the defense. They've had some good stands tonight. Let's, yes, see, what, they have. let's see what we can get out of this third down. CMA stays in the shotgun formation. And the keeper keep it. on it. Looks like he's got the first down. Nice tackle made there by Randall, but it looks like Real it's close. just enough for a first down probably. Very nice pursuit. 
Yep, first down. Signals the first down. He's going deep. Oh, oh, oh! That should be offensive pass interference, maybe. Uh, Miller back there. See if like they, Miller which looked way like they maybe he it. was. He had the. He dragged him down, maybe. Yeah, it looked like the receiver maybe dragged him down. And he could have uh, made a move on the interception if he wasn't knocked over by the. Nope, on defense. It's gonna be on the defense. Not a good call. He's. Pretty fired up now. <laughs> Coach Moriarty just holds his hands out to the side. I'm not sure how that was a defensive pass interference. I think either. I can hear him up here. Maybe we can uh, <laughs> dial up the instant replay on that one. <clears throat> All right, so first down for CMA, 35 oh, up the middle. There he goes. He's, He's in. Yep, gets to the sideline and across the goal line for a touchdown. That's number 35, Alex Dethicus on the carry. About a 29 yards run there. Yep, takes a score to 20 0 with 7.06 to go in the third quarter. Turns out to be a a momentum swinging uh, penalty right there. It could be a, a big game changer to see if they can re mentally yeah, get agree. over that call and get back in it now. I agree without seeing it on instant replay there. It looked like it could have went either way to me, but it like Miller that's was right. kind of pushed down. But. Yep, and at, at some point that's what they called, and then you just got to move on to the next play and not let it, let yep. it bother you. And let's see how they rebound from that. Looks like Coach Moe, he's really fired up down there. And he's getting fired up. He wants some points on the board here. After the, PA, after the good PAT attempt, it makes it 21-0 here uh, at Tippecanoe Valley. We got Coach Patrick giving him a little, the special teams, a little <laughs> pep talk there in the huddle. Running the special teams for him. Yeah, that's it. Well, Valley, uh, last week we had that eight-minute drive in the first quarter, and then we scored right before halftime. And so it's been four quarters now since we've scored, scored here. So. That's true. Good point. Well, I'm starting to wake up now, so I'm in the game now. Are you in, yeah, it, now? I'm in it now? I'm not going to see losses as gains and gains <laughs> as losses. That's right. <laughs> All right, CMA kicks off, and it's going to go. Oh, you kidding me again. Did Looks not like it's going to go out of bounds. bounds. To go out of bounds. <laughs> oh, but a good run back. It's really a nice run back out yeah. there. Across the 20 to the 25. Conley on that return. Really? <laughs> they had one in the first half, too, didn't they? So about the same thing. Right off the sidelines on the other side there, and then this one here. It looked like that was going to roll out of bounds. And would have been a nice break, got us another 10 yeah. yards or so if that could have bounced out of bounds. But good job of, of by Conley to stay alert and know that it didn't go out of bounds and pick it up and get what he could on that return. Well, Valerie will start this drive at the 25-yard line. Tanner's under center. Oh, I'd say one on us. Don't think there's any hide in that one. Nope. Like 77 Rivera jumped okay. on that one. Gonna back us up. And I think really the fact that they've been so good so far in that area. 
Has that been our what fourth penalty for 20 Three yards? Fourth penalty for 20 yards is in the night. PD under center. Going to give it to Morrison up the middle. We haven't called his name much tonight. But like nice little run. Nice run. Gains five yards back. Maybe six yards. You can just see them linebackers there just, just wanting to come in there. They ain't really they? run downhill, don't they? Yes, they do. We get through that second level, and there's room to go, and that's how we've gotten a couple of the nice plays we've had. So. We have Melanson all wide to the near side and draw back to pass. Ooh. Got Webster out in the flats for a short gain, but a completed pass, gain of only about a yard on that pass play, going to bring up third and eight, maybe third and seven. We got uh, John Humes off to the far side there. Ooh. All the passes up. Incomplete. Almost intercepted. Not sure if uh, he had a defender right in his face there and just had to yeah. get rid of it and was off target. And lucky, up a, lucky that just fell to the ground. He's getting up kind of slow there. Trapiti is getting up slow. See if he can walk it off. He's trying to. He has taken a taken a little bit of a beating. Yes, he has. Uh, low snap over to P's head. Terry's able to. Oh. Nice job by Tanner to stay with oh, that and get a hold too. of it. They're just gonna let her bounce. Good job. Wow, nice job now, by there's, Tanner. There's our break right there. So. Looks like CMA will start at their 38. A little farther there in their deeper in their territory for this for this drive, but still good field position. So see. Viking defense can stay strong after giving up that touchdown round last time. Gonna roll to the right. Little screen oh, pass back to Craig. Craig. Wow. Gain of about seven out seven past the 45 yep. to the 46 yard line. <clears throat> That'd be second down two. Second two now. In the shotgun. Going to keep it bumming up the middle. Oh, there he goes. And he's got some wheels. Finds a hole. I don't yeah, think he was touched he, all the way through the line no, there. He he's in for a touchdown. Going to bring it to 27 0. Culver Military with 431 to go in the third quarter now. <clears throat> So far, the start of the second half on this game is about like the second half of last game. It was. You know, we had a good first half. It was 14-13 last week and 14-0 this week. And then the first two drives, two scores. Uh, no good on the extra point. All right, that's going gonna to remain 27-0. 
There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans, from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board certified and fellowship Okay, CMA, CMA, ready to kick off again? Culver Military's defense has given up zero points in six and a half quarters of football now this season. So it'd be nice for the Vikings to be able to drive one down and put some points on the board. That one's going to be this out of This one balance. we got, yeah, there we go. Valley will start the 35 yard line. Some good good field position to start with. Good crowd tonight, Valley for home opener. At two tight ends, bring things in tight. High backfield, we go up the middle. Potter. Potter, nice run there by Potter. <clears throat> Gain of about seven on the play. Potter's been running the ball hard all night tonight. And he's, uh, the old line's been helping him out there on that one. He's second and eight, or second and two, or the gain at eight. Potter again up the middle. Gain of one, one more like that, and we got another first down. We'll take that. Keep the chains moving. Third and one, two tight end set, high formation. There's Here's Morrison, Morrison up the middle. Be enough for the first down where they spot that after the forward progress out near midfield. Two fifty-five to go in the third quarter. Typical New Valley zero, Culver Military twenty-seven. Vikings come to the line, first and ten on the forty-nine yard line. Morrison again up the middle. He was met uh, by a whole host of yeah. Eagles there as the <laughs> after a gain of about three. He's running hard, running downhill. Yes, he was. Yep. Morrison coming to the sidelines. Drive started at the 35. If I had four running plays, Potter with two, Morrison with two. And be up the middle of Potter, Potter again. again. And absolutely nowhere to go on that play. Oh, 
And bring up a third down and seven to go. Conley, just nowhere to go on that play. Going to be a loss of a yard. Going to bring up fourth down now. No, we had a couple nice positive running yards there, and then just two plays in a row where they just stuffed us right at the line of scrimmage or shortly in the backfield. Well, with fourth down, looks like we're going to go for it. Yeah, I'm down to 48 seconds and counting in the quarter. Play clock's down to seven. Ooh, Whoa. Valley jumps, and that will take him back five yeah, now. Paul Starr looked like maybe Webster jumped on that one. So I'm now. Back him up. Gonna be a timeout for Tippecanoe Valley here with 37 seconds to go in the third quarter where they trail zero to 27. All this month, you can save big during Shepherd Chevrolet's Summer Drive event, where prices have been slashed to 20% below MSRP on 2017 Cruise, Impala, and Malibu LT Edition. How about a lower rate instead? Take 0% APR for 72 months. The choice is yours during this inventory clearance event, going on right now at Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. Online at shepherdrochester.com. Farming is a way of life for many of our Hoosier families. Protect all of your farming assets with coverage from Evans Agency in Rochester. They offer farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your coverage needs. Judy Evans and her staff have been serving the insurance needs of this community for over a decade. Let Judy help you protect your farm, your life, your business, and all of your possessions. Evans Agency. All right, oh. we're back here for the fourth down play. Trapiti comes out under center. We got tight end to the left. Two receivers to the near side. He's gonna throw deep to Webster. Oh, intercepted. Just out of the reach of Webster and intercepted by Jake Rogers, number 17, and he has and got it down to the 10 yard line. Ten. Nope, Breaks still the tackle. going. And Touchdown. He's able to get in for the touchdown. Wow. Oh. Just a deflating play there yeah. on that fourth down play. You know, you hope when you go for it on fourth down like that and you throw a pass that if it does get intercepted, it kind of works as a, in a punt it's in a, a punt. sense. Yep. And, and you don't, they don't get to return it for a touchdown. And Tanner again, one under pressure again. He just kind of threw it up there, which under pressure. Yep, and just so. over Web just out of Webster's reach as he jumped for it and unable to get it. CMA comes out for the extra point now. It's up. Looks like it was maybe blocked Dark. at the line, a low kick, but that was it's going to make the score 33-0 with 22 seconds to go in the third quarter. We'll be back that right after this. Just. Touchdown from every game, every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss a touchdown with Red Zone from NFL Network and RTC Fiber Communications. Call today to get yourself set up for all the action. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp.
And we're back here on RTC TV4, where Culver Military just intercepted a fourth down pass play and returned it for a touchdown to extend the score to 33 to zero. Now they're gonna be set for the kickoff. So we got Conley deep to return for the Vikings. Well, Doug, at this point, I think we just hope to maybe maybe get a score out of this game and yeah. get a little momentum uh, offensively going into conference play bit, next week. Yep, get a little confidence to head down to North Miami. Looks like Conley. Going to return that. Catches that about the four. Gets it out near the 30-yard line. Nice return. Vikings come to the line now. First and ten from the twenty nine yard line. Little pitch out to Morrison off the right side. Yeah. Stopped after a gain of about one on the play. That'll end the third quarter here at Tippecanoe Valley. Culver Military leads 33-0 to zero here on RTC TV 4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings <clears throat> Okay. And we're we're back ahead. here for the start of the fourth <laughs> quarter. <laughs> uh. As the cheerleaders throw out the miniature footballs to the crowd. Think your grandson can catch one, Doug? Oh, I bet. But he's probably got lineman hands, doesn't he? He's got the line. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like the the wife got one. Maybe we can get a jersey for. Her. Pittsburgh Steelers could probably use her at receiver, couldn't they? <laughs> for sure. <clears throat> Morrison oh, up the Morrison middle. Up the nice run. run. Nice run. Looks like about a gain of eight. It's like Parker checks in at fullback. It's like the crowd's kind of thinned out here to start the fourth quarter, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Going to be up the middle for Morrison again. Going to be real close to the first down. Where are they going to mark that? I think they marked it just past the first down marker. Yep, first and down. And move the chains. Good call, Carlin. Morrison comes up limping on that one. He's going to come off under his own power, but he looks to be in a little bit of pain there. Petey takes the play into the huddle. He's hanging tough tonight after a few <laughs> big hits he's had. Yeah. Scrambling around back there. Yeah, Conley is tailback this play. Two tight end set. 
I hand it off to Parker up the middle. A little gain. Gain of about a yard. Kind of looked like a rugby play again on that one. We had one of those last week. We just huddles up and pushes on each other. Tanner has three intercept or yeah interceptions tonight, and one of them's right before halftime. So right, just kind of right. throw the ball up. Kind of hard to count that. I'm gonna counting on the stat sheet, it, but it you're just going for one, you know, there at the end of the half. Little pitch out. Conley again. We bounced off of, kind of got around the outside just a little bit and able to gain a, a yard on the play, I believe. Got a big fantasy football draft coming up this week, Doug. You yes. all prepared for that yeah, thing? I am already coming over, aren't you? I think so. All right. Third down eight. He's gonna roll out, comes back for Parker, oh, Parker through his no. hands. Nope. There he blows it dead. Yep. <clears throat> Went for Incomplete, incomplete pass there on third and eight. Brings up a fourth down. Ooh, good kick. Oh, good roll. Roll out of bounds down so near the 20, maybe the yeah. 22. Well, I'd say now CMA be doing a little bit of running here. Yeah, I would think they would try to use up Just some use clock, clock here, and it might be about the deepest they've started tonight on a drive. I agree with down that. Near yeah. The 20. <laughs> Play clock's running down to 15, and Culver Military just now comes out on the field from the sidelines, kind of huddled up over there, talking things over. They're all set. Go in motion, gonna be a little sweep out to the right. Number five with your ball carrier. Trent Lipset from LaPorte, Indiana. LaPorte. Looks like gain of four for him. Bring up second and six. Like the ball popped loose there, maybe? It did, but it was recovered by Jackson Mull on the play, number one. He's just a freshman from Fort Wayne, Indiana, for Culver Military. Going to be a third down and eight to go. <clears throat> like a little bit of confusion there on the offense for the Eagles. Them lined up. And take it on the left side. Cuts back oh. up the middle. Finds a little Ooh. seam out to the 45-yard line on that play. I see no flag, so it should be first Got down. A, close to a 20-yard gain, I believe. <clears throat> oh, we got oh, a hold. We do have one over there. Yeah, hey. It's going nice. to bring that back. 
Here, I saw I was getting on my A game, and I didn't see that flag. But that was the first down. Hmm? But then you did see the flag. Yeah, I seen the flag. <laughs> After you said it. <laughs> we'll take away the first down. We'll back him up some more. Oh. Make it a third and long. I didn't see the flag either. I, I just either. saw the official signal yeah. the holding penalty. Third down, 15. Now the ball's on the 17-yard uh, line, third and 15 to go. Another pass play, a little hitch route out to the far side. It's down yeah. along the sidelines, gets back almost, almost to the original line of scrimmage, going to be about a fourth and 11. Another nice stand by the defense, helped out by a holding penalty, but we'll another nice that. job. Yep. Absolutely another nice job. It's really a lot of positive things, even though there's, they've given up 33 points. The defense has got a lot of positive things to build on. Yeah, because you had one interception back, and, a, and you had the and a, punt, and a return, punt return. So. A little silent count, going to roll out, There's punt. Oh, hit, hit. he bobbles it, spins away, <laughs> and then he took a shot. Jalen Potter on that punt return. That just almost was dangerous, but he was able to handle it. <laughs> I thought that was. Gain a couple yards out of it. Well, we got good field position here. Let's take advantage of this one. Yep. Try um, to get something on the board here. Start out near midfield on the 48-yard line. 6.32 to go in the game. I guess I'll call it the 49-yard line. Talking about 49, you're going to draft me a 49er Sunday? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, we got somebody coming on late. Oh, oh that's going to be yeah. flags for sure. Hume's on late on the play. Not sure he was supposed to be in, apparently, on that play. Coach Moriarty looks a little bit frustrated on the sideline there. He's shaking his head just a little bit. Got some positive things to build on from tonight, he though. Does. CMA is a really good team. They are. They are. I thought Bremen was a good team, too, last week. Yeah, so. they were. So we've seen two really good teams here in the first week that kind of get us prepared going into conference next week. Don't know much about the North Miami Warriors next week, other than that's where Dak Snyder's stepkids go to school. Yep. Depends what side fence he sits on next week, huh? He valley graduate there. Ah, uh, he'll be, he'll be, he'll be wearing green and gold. Yeah, I bet he will too. Oh, oh West, West. nice hold by oh, nice. There you go. Took a big hit there at the <laughs> end of that run, but a nice gain of seven or eight on the play. Take it down eight. Gets it out across midfield. The motion from Lanson takes it up the middle again. Oh, a couple of nice runs from West. Hi. Nice hard run there. It's down near the first down. Bring up a third and short. It's real manageable third down now. Time we've got Dakota Gaff on the carry. Yeah. That about his first carry tonight? I believe so. Pretty strong kid, got a little speed. He ran track this last season. There you go. Good to see him get a carry. Yeah. 
We got Miller in as quarterback now. He's yeah, going to keep, keep it. Himself. Oh, nice little run. Oh, yeah. Maybe a late, late hit. Yep. Is that what they're going to call? Take him right out of bounds, kind of dragged him out. And Should move us ahead for a first down if that's what the call is. Face, Face mask. mask. There you go. That'll work, too. We'll take it. That play be first down two on that penalty. Miller under center. Ooh. Oh, look. Oh, Keeps nice. It again. Nice. A little speed there, doesn't he? Yes, gets he does. around the corner. Lowers a shoulder and gets enough for the first down. Nice job. Let's move them chains. 420 to go in the game. Gaff with a nice run. Gets it down inside the 20 to the 15 yard line. Yeah, some of the big boys are coming back in. They don't want to give up any points. Oh. <clears throat> let's just punch it in, anyways. Yeah, let's just do it. Oh, they got too many guys on the field. And it looks like they did get off the field. Nope. No. Timeout. Timeout. Timeout by Culver. That well, that'll be a timeout a with 316 to go in the game as Tippecanoe Valley trails 0 to 3 or 33 over the Eagles. We'll be right back right after this. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Okay, and we're, we're back, back here for the second down play. For the Vikings, second and second, second and two. Wow. Gaff on the carry. Here you go, turns the corner, yeah. gets it up to the 10 yard line, I believe. If I can see across the field just right. I'm asking the guy, I'm, yep. I'm asking the guy that thought we lost three yards when we gained two at the beginning of the game. So. There you go. You're asking me, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to say the ball at the 10 then. <laughs> I know that because I looked at the scoreboard. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> well, it is a first down. And the first down markers are on the ground over there, so it's first and goal. Ooh, oh, there you go. The Gaff keeper. again. Oh. Makes the guy miss. Not quite able to get back to the line of scrimmage, though. <clears throat> Try a little counter play there and just they kind of sniffed it out. Not much going. Another under center. 
Keller keeps oh, it. Oh, he's got a little room out there. By well, the speed of Culver, though, they closed they that are. gap in a they hurry. They did. <clears throat> uh oh, holding. Flag yep. on the. Somebody lost their hanky again. Yep. Ooh, shot. Ooh, alley. Ooh. Chop block? Is that That's what you said, yeah. yeah. It's going to be a 15 yard penalty. That's going to be a second and goal from the 28 yard line. <laughs> Two oh one to go. Well, now we just ran the clock. We're down under two minutes to go in the game now. Gaff again. Nice block out of the head there. Helps him to get the corner. Gain a couple extra yards. Clock still running with a minute thirty to go. Motion there. Oh, Miller's, Miller's gonna pass, going deep for Gaff. Ooh, nice try, guys. That one's not gonna be a penalty either. Come on now. But that pass was intended for Gaff. Down at the goal line, a little overthrown. Good coverage by the secondary <laughs> it was. there. Now we've got fourth down and. Goal from the 25 yard line. <laughs> we have to dial well, up something here now. Yeah, might as well take a shot yep. down to 55 seconds to go in the game. <clears throat> Draw back for the pass. Going deep to Shepard. He, hey, he got it. He yeah. got it. Touchdown. Look at that. Yeah. Catch by Shepard. There you go. Nice pass by Noah yeah. Miller. Nice catch by Shepard. Nice go. job. Nice. We'll take that. He's starting to make a habit out of these nice, <laughs> yeah, beautiful nice. catches down in the end zone. Yeah. Isn't he? So that was with 48 seconds to go. <laughs> Tippecanoe New Valley gets on the board. So that was fourth down. Goal at the 25, right? So Absolutely. nice, nice job. Way to pick that up. Lord. Kick is up. It looks and it's good. good. All right. So Tippecanoe Valley gets on the board with 48 seconds. Brings now the score. Momentum going our way for next seven. week. We're oh. going to go to a commercial now and we'll be back in a. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your... There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home. And there's no better place to go for a more... And we're back now with 48 seconds to go in the game. Valley down 33 to seven. A little momentum for next weekend. Yeah. A little so. score there, so. Nice little drive, punch it in. 
Nice, nice throw and a nice catch. Noah Miller up to uh, Shepard. <laughs> CMA returns it out to the 30 yard line. 41 seconds to go. I'd like to think there might be just one play left one play here. here. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors tonight for the broadcast. Thank Mr. Carlin here, calling a good game. You too, Mr. Miller. Yep. <laughs> See you Sunday afternoon. Wednesday night. And then Wednesday night. Oh, yeah, Sunday afternoon's first. <laughs> I got to do a little studying up for these drafts coming up. We'll see, maybe we can have a little recap of your fantasy draft <laughs> next week. <laughs> there you go. I'm sure everybody would be interested in that. <laughs> and that should be the last play. Absolutely. Going to end the game here. Clock is still running. All right, well that's gonna end it here at uh, Tippecanoe Valley as the clock's gonna run out on the Vikings tonight. They're gonna be defeated by Culver Military Academy 33 to seven. We uh, really thank you for joining us here on RTC TV4. Look forward to uh, that's gonna be your ball game. next week's conference game. Next week opening conference game at North Miami. Congratulations. That'll do it. We'll see you next week.